Hi, in this tutorial, we're going to be discussing Next.js image component and why you want to use this instead of regular HTML image and what are the benefits. Go with Sloba. So first of all, let's discuss what are the benefits of Next.js image component. So let's take this image as an example. So the first thing is the image size itself. So if we inspect this image, the image size is around 800 kilobytes. And now if you go to the layout, of the power component, we can see that we're using the regular image. The other problem is the content layout shift. So if we go to the network, let's see what the content layout shift is. Let's set the throttling to a slow 3G. And now let's refresh the page. So now the page is simulating the slow uh, internet connection, but this can happen on the fast internet connection if you have large images as well. And you must have seen this previously. The first thing that we see is this text. And then once the image appears, it pushes down the text. So this is the content layout shift, which we don't want to see on any website. And this is why we want to use the images from Next.js. So let's see what benefits do we have, or actually let's see how we can implement the images uh, to fix this issue. So instead of this image, we can just import the image from Next.js image and make sure obviously to import it here. So import image from next image. And then we can use the source, similar like we're doing here. Source, and we can provide the same class name. We can remove the throttling here, and we can remove this image as well. And we can see what is the actual size of the image at the end. So let's provide, with the image component, you need to provide width and height as a placeholder. So with the width and height, you're not providing the image width and height, but actually it's taking as a placeholder for the image inside of the website or your application. So let's say for the width, and we can actually see what is the current width and just take that same size. So it's around 600 times 400. So let's say 600 and height 400. 400, something like this. And now if we try to save this, we're gonna get the error because this is not the image that we are locally hosting on our application server, but actually this is an external asset. And in order to use the external images, you need to provide a host name inside of the Next.js configuration. So let's save this and let's see what it says. As you can see here, invalid source property because the images square space and host name is not configured under the images in your Next.js configuration. So we need to do this in order to use the images component. So let's go to the next config. Inside of the configuration file, we want to add images. And here we want to add remote patterns. And this is going to be an array of objects. So here we need to provide all the host names uh, that we want to use. So the first one is we want to provide a protocol and we're going to use a secure protocol here for the host name. We can just copy what we have here in the error message like this let's make sure to use the single quotes then we need to provide a port for port we can leave it empty because there is no port and for the path name we can provide whatever comes after so in our case it's content so we can just copy content and add to asterisk so whatever comes after the content so now if we save this we need to restart our server so let me close the server and restart once again. And we should get this image working, but in this case, it should be serving the Next.js image. So let me refresh. And now as you can see, we don't have that content layout shift. We have this image uh, placeholder staying there until we get the image loading. And now if we check what is the actual size, you can see that the size is 39 kilobytes. So the previous image had around 800 kilobytes and also we had that content layout shift. So these are the two main benefits that you get with using the XJS images. So now what I wanna do is I wanna go to the single drinks page and I wanna add the images here. So let me close this terminal, let me close, uh, or actually uh, let's open up a single bar page here. And here we wanna add an image. So let's import the image from next image. Once again, make sure to import it here. And now we want to add a source. And for the source, we can use the thumb that we are extracting from our data here. For the width, we can set the width to be 300. And for the height, it can also be 300. And now let's add a class name because here I want to set the width to be 
48 and the height to be 48 as well and I also want to add rounded corners so rounded and I want to add some shadow so shadow dash LG and let's add some margin on the bottom margin bottom four like this and now we're gonna get the error once again because we haven't configured this uh, this host name in our configuration file so we need to do exactly the same so what we can do is we can copy what we did the previous host name and we can just add the cocktail DB to the host name let's copy this and for the path name we can add whatever is after the, the host name in this case it's images and we can remove this content and add the images and now let's save this and now we'll just restart my server once again and we should have the images displaying correctly so now we have this cocktail beautiful if you get back let's see some other cocktails and as you can see we are getting the images and they are super nicely optimized and we don't have that content shift anymore and if you want to support my channel and get a full source code of every single video that i'm doing feel free to check out patreon.com code with sloba to get full access see you there well that's all for this video and thanks for stopping by and don't forget to subscribe code with sloba thank you for watching the entire video to see more videos like this click here